Yes, uh, well, it does take a little bit of getting used to, but once you've got the hang of it, this little number can certainly work up a head of steam, so to speak. Top speed is about 24 miles per hour, petrol consumption is over 300 miles to the gallon, and we're told it's virtually trouble-free. Lift this up, pedal along, lift this up, and then adjust pedal first. Pedal first, lift it up, and then adjust your accelerator. <laughs> but of course, as we said, it does take a little bit of getting used to if you're a pedal pusher of the more conventional type. Karen, were you having a, a bit of difficulty there? How are yeah, you getting it on? It was quite hard at the beginning, but once you get the hang of it, it's not too bad. Any of practice makes perfect. Jeff, do you think there's a, a future for these kind of things, or why, why is she having all the trouble that she is in getting it? The reason why she's having trouble is she, she's not starting off fast enough, and uh, if she pedals faster when she puts the engine on, it will cut in, and uh, off she goes. With uh, 375 miles to the gallon, it's a fantastic asset to have onto your bike. You think that's hell? Definitely, yes. With 22cc engine with 24 miles an hour, brilliant. Not too complicated. Not complicated at all. Right, Karen. Let's let's see a bit more action from you then. At the moment, the engine is being manufactured in the US and is being sold here for £250. But uh, Ballina businessman David Burns is hoping to set up a new industry to manufacture the engine and supply both the home and export markets. Well, of course, in this day and age, with the price of petrol what it being what it is, the engine itself will do up to 375 miles to the gallon. And, of course, that has to appeal to the average person. It's the cheapest form of motorised transportation available today that we know of. Uh, we feel, as well, eventually, that uh, when sales warranted, uh, we're hoping to develop the export markets into Europe as well. And uh, should the day come when it warrants the uh, number of engines uh, which are required, uh, we would then think of setting up a factory in this country, probably in the west of Ireland, to produce uh, the BB bike engine. Um, what, what kind of people do you see using this bicycle? Well, anybody over the age of 16, or anybody uh, who can uh, who can qualifies for a driving licence can have one of these. There's no great problem at all about uh, riding it. Um, as far as we're concerned, it's, it's, it's quite simple. It's... Uh, pretty trouble-free. But aren't you going to have the additional cost of uh, taxing the bicycle, insuring the bicycle and putting a registration plate on it? Yes, uh, <coughs> that is the requirement, a uh, registration plate, but only one small registration plate, uh, plate on the front of the bicycle. Uh, as far as the uh, tax is concerned, it costs £5 a year. Uh, insurance would cost in the region of around about uh, 30 to £40 pounds, uh, a year for an adult riding this bicycle. So I can't see any great problem. I think from an economy, economy point of view, it works out roughly about a half a P per mile. I don't think anything could be cheaper than that.